Hey, I hope y'all are having a good weekend. This is Peter, Q Kilo, Juliet 5, Alpha, Juliet Bravo. Seems like quite a few folks are on the airwaves too, so let me go ahead and uh, turn the radio down there so we can get to it. All right, today I decided to do a, a video on uh, the Innovato Quadra and uh, Ham Clock, which uh, I know there's a bunch of other videos out there for doing this, but uh, it uh, looks like the uh, firmware or software, or whatever, has been updated on the on the Quadra, and uh, I just wanted to show you all uh, what they had. So if you've uh, never seen the Quadra, Got two keyboards here and you can keep it in the wrong keys. So this is their web page, Innovato.com. And the Quadra is uh, the, uh, the little box shaped thing there. It'll pretty much fit in the palm of your hand. Uh, it comes with the power supply and an HDMI cable. And if you want, you can spend some extra money for a USB hub and, a, and the... Uh, upgraded Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. It's got Wi-Fi on it, but it's only 2.4 2 gig, and uh, that's fine for my needs. I just ordered the base unit. So I've got her uh, plugged into my uh, capture card here, and we'll see what we can uh, do with that. So let's see. When... There we go. So here's the desktop for it. Keep in mind, I'm trying to use two keyboards and two mice here to get things going. Um, I've seen on the, I'm sure on the other videos, you've seen the basic login of this. When you first boot it up, it asks for your, your admin password and all that. So anyways, uh, this guy will do up to 4K if you want it to. Uh, I just do it, I haven't done it 1080p right now, so. The updated software they happen to have, they also have some ham apps on here. So in a lot of the other videos, they were going through and installing the ham pie uh, Linux system and then uh, running ham clock off of that and all that stuff. But now the, the folks at Innovato have actually incorporated quite a bit of that stuff into the, into the Quadra itself. So it makes it a lot easier for your setup. There's also been some changes to the setup for the uh, ham clock, and I'll go through those right now also. All right. One of the biggest ones I've seen lately was on the others, you know, you can go through and put your uh, call sign in in the upper left corner there. Uh, uh, on the older versions, you actually had to type in your Latin long, but on the newer version here, you just put in your grid coordinates, and it'll figure it out for you, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't use GPSD or geolocate. Uh, if, if you need those for your needs, uh, the G IP geolocate is kind of hinky because it bases upon your ISP provider, and... Uh, Mine's like in a different city than I'm in, so the uh, grid coordinates work better. Um, page two in here is you can connect to a spider cluster. I have not yet figured out how to get that to work. Uh, I'm still working on it. I may do an update video on it later on. But uh, every time I run it, it says it can't make a connection for some reason. Not sure why. Because I've got the host and the uh, port. Uh, rig control and all that stuff. You can actually uh, set this this baby up to uh, control your radio and all that too. Uh, I don't use it for that. Main thing I'm using it for is the ham clock and map center and uh, IIC on or off. I'm not sure what IIC is. So and page five, our general settings like your date order, week starts, units, spot labels, and all that stuff. So we'll go ahead and click down there, and it's doing its setup. Log 
plug it in. We're in. And there we go. Um, all the other stuff is basically the same. You can go in and change your background colors on your call sign and all that. Uh, set your time. It's like on UTC time here. Uh, my, my time is down here in the, where it says the DE. And then you can set a DX time. Mine's like over in the, where GMT is right now in the, in the UK. Um, your sun info. Uh, this window here will cycle through different things every uh, so many minutes. And uh, the actual visual indicator of the sun itself. And here we go. We got the moon up there now. So that looks pretty cool. Um, you can actually use... this to go full window but it's if you also go over here to this little uh, gear icon you can make it go full screen and uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't remember how to get out of it for one thing so all right so I hope you all enjoyed all that and uh, it, uh, it seems to be a lot easier to set up. You don't have to go through all this full Linux install and then install the app and all that stuff. It's all there for you. So uh, um, for those of us that don't tinker much with Linux, I'm, I actually use the Mac at home. I'm using Ecamm Live actually to do this video. Uh, that's a great piece of software. Easy to use. And uh, so hope you all enjoyed this and uh, click the like and subscribe and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you all. Have a good one.